Welcome to a tutorial on how to post your brain's midterm content. The first thing you want to do is you want to get to your MSCT portfolio. And that of course is being done in Google Sites. So you're going to go to sites.google.com. Once there, you're going to click on New Google Sites. And let me take a side step here. The most important part of this is that in order to access new Google Sites, you do need to be running the Chrome browser. So please make sure that you are trying to do this work in Chrome. Once you've clicked on new Google Sites, you will see your portfolio. You're going to click one time to open that up. And by now, hopefully you have your placeholder text for your various courses in place. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to take a look here at our placeholder. Under course, what you need to do is you need to type in a very brief description of the course. So if I'm going to imagine um, that this is uh, US History 1, and my target audience is grades 9 through 10, whatever. The essential questions are of your lessons. What is it essentially you are trying to teach? Um, I'm going to make this up. ID key factors leading to World War One, um, And that's all you really need to do for that. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to create a new page and off of that new page you're going to insert the link to your midterm as well as your notes. Before I go do that I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on publish. That way at least that portion is done. We will need to come back here and hyperlink this phrase midterm over to the actual midterm page. But for the moment, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually grab this. I'm going to copy this portion. Um, I'm just doing a control C on my keyboard. I'm going to come over here to the right hand side under Google Sites. I'm going to click on Pages. And under Pages, I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a new page. And I'm going to type in brains midterm. You might come up with something a little bit more elegant in terms of phrasing. You can always change it. Going ahead and clicking on done. And here I am. Now I've got the page where I want it to be. And I'm going to click on insert text box. And now I'm going to paste that content. That way that content is already done off the first page, no big deal. Now the next thing I need to do is I'm going to set up another phrase here called notes. And I'm going to go ahead and publish this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my sample notes. Now I have a couple of tutorials on how to create a PDF. And I'm doing this just from within Google Docs, but of course it is super simple to do it multiple different ways. Google Docs is one of the ways that you can create a PDF and that's what I'm showing you here. I'm going to imagine that this was my midterm written content and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a PDF of it. Now let me back up here and just explain. I could simply hyperlink this and um, link to it from the drive or link to it from the doc. That would be okay, except for the fact that I really would like this to be a PDF. It's a new skill, and it's something that you should do so that it looks the way you wanted it to look, as opposed to um, making people go into the editing. It's also easier in terms of not having to share this content out with the world. So, making a PDF, I'm going to click on the word file. I'm going to come over here to download as, and I'm going to choose PDF document. And in a moment, my computer is going to save it for me. Um, it's going to save it for me in my download folder. But of course, um, on a Windows machine, it more than likely will have saved in your download folder as well. It could have landed in your document area. It could have landed in your desktop. So make sure you know where your content is being um, saved. I'm going to pause the video to get ready for the next part. I'll be right back. Okay, so our next portion is this. 
If we take a look at Google Sites, we know that there are some current limitations in terms of their being able to upload different types of media. And what we really want to do is we want to insert a link from this word notes over to the PDF version of our document. Um, again, I've already explained why a PDF is going to be a better deal here. However, because Google Sites doesn't natively bring in those PDFs at this point, we've got to take a couple of extra steps. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my drive, and I'm in a drive that is my coursework for this particular class. I'm going to have to upload this particular file, the midterm notes dash sample. Again, could I have gotten away with doing it just from the document? Sure, but I think it looks cleaner and neater if I do it as a PDF. I'm going to simply upload this into my Google Drive, and there it is. Um, now, in terms of uploading documents into the drive, there's multiple ways I could have done that. I just simply dragged and dropped, but I could also have done new file upload and have gone and chosen that file. Uh, that's another way to do that. All right, so now that I've got that in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my sites. I'm going to highlight the word notes. And now I'm going to come over from Drive. And I'm going to go ahead and go find that particular file. And I'm going to have to switch over to, there we go. And I'm going to sort by last modified by me, because that should give me that file and then I'm going to click on insert <clears throat> and there's the massive file in terms of notes right there and that's fine. I'm going to click on publish. Next what I want to do is I want to create a hyperlink to my um, actual content and in order to do that I can do it one of two ways. I could I could embed my midterm multiple different ways. The first uh, one I'm going to show you is doing it via Prezi and I'm going to pop over to my Prezi account and I have gone ahead and clicked into a Prezi presentation that I'm going to use as an example. Now obviously you're going to be linking right down to your midterm and this is of course only if you're using Prezi. So how do I go about doing this? There are two strategies here and both of them are fine. The first thing I can do is I can click on share and now I'm going to click on copy link and that's going to allow me to copy that entire link. Then what I can do is I can come back over here in terms of um, my midterm. I could highlight this. I could click on the sharing icon. I could, oops, hold on one second. Okay, I had to jump back and grab the URL of, of my Prezi over here. I had to copy this one more time. So I'm going to now jump over here. I've highlighted it. I'm going to my link and I'm going to paste it and I can click apply and then I can go ahead and click on publish. This is one way to do it and it would certainly work. So if I go ahead and click on view published site, um, I could click on midterm and there it is. That's one way to do it. Another way to do this, I'm going to go ahead and click on my pencil. Another way to do this is to go ahead and embed the presentation and I'm going to show you that from within Prezi I've got this option right here called Embed. <clears throat> and it's going to even give me an option to change the size and, and width. And you may want to do that here simply because, especially if you're trying to do a, a layout piece here where you want this to fit just in this little space or you want it to fit in this space up here. However you want to do that in terms of sizing, you may have to play with that a bit. I'm going to just go ahead and give it um, the default and let viewers pan and zoom freely. I'm going to copy the code to the clipboard and then I'm going to come back over here to my um, content area and then I'm going to um, I'm going to set this up a little bit differently. I'm going to move this up top and resize this a little bit so that 
there's my notes. And then down here, I'm going to click on Embed URL, and I'm going to Paste. And then I'm going to click on Insert. And that's going to put that Prezi in there. Once again, I'm going to click on Publish. And then I'm going to click on the drop down and go to View Published Site. And my notes are, are appearing over here. And my Prezi presentation is appearing over here. And that should, once I click on it, take me right out to my Prezi. I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to come back and do the same skills but with a Google slide presentation in case any of you are doing it that way. But if you were doing it simply through notes and through Prezi, then you're basically done at this point. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set up your brain midterm page using Google slides. So the first thing I've done is I've gone to pages and I've gone ahead and created a new page by clicking on the plus button. I copied and pasted the same information that I had before in terms of the front end of whoops, this particular content right here and and here is the page. Now, the truth is, is I actually copied and pasted it from my other sample. I'm going to remove the um, hyperlink here because I don't need that any longer. That would have taken me to my notes, which I've got embedded over here. And in terms of embedding um, my, my Google slide presentation, I'm simply going to go to insert. I can also do it directly from... Um, my slides option here, but I can also go from Drive. And for me, it's coming up as my most immediate file because that's what I just worked on. But of course, I could double click into my files and go locate the folder in which it's uh, sitting. And it's not there. Let me just back out of here for a second here. Here it is. So um, I just haven't organized it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on insert and there it is. The last step I'm going to do is click on publish and then I am done. Um, and once again if I were to go view this particular site, view publish site, I could see that here is my slide com uh, content. And that's it. Um, for your midterm, you need to have this second page set up and it needs to be labeled Brains Midterm and you can click and link to, uh, excuse me, you can link to the PDF version of your notes and link to either the Prezi version of your presentation or the Google Slide version of your presentation or if you chose to use a different tool altogether, you can link to that version's online uh, sample. Talk to you later.